I was uh, talking to somebody yesterday about getting into soccer. So they were finishing up their boot camp and they need to start, you know, focusing on networking and applying to jobs. It's time to get into soccer. So the training's done. Now it's time to get into soccer. Uh, so there were questions about, um, in conversation, about how to go about that. Like, um, so on LinkedIn, you know, do you reach out to people and say, like, hey, I, I want to work at the company you're working at. I see this position I, I could be a good fit for. Can we jump on a call? And that's one approach. And if that sounds good to you, you know, try some of it and see how it works. I'm, you know, I, I know that people have had success with that in the past because I've heard of, heard of that working. Uh, you know, what I would prefer to do and, you know, what I suggest people do is, um, you know, just build your network. And what I mean by that is talk to people and uh, be a creator on LinkedIn. And when I say creator, I'm not talking about like, you know, editing videos. I also don't edit videos. Uh, I'm not talking about even making videos. I'm just saying post every day about something that might interest other people and, you know, um, is worth putting out there. Um, so be a creator be active on LinkedIn and you know, creating content and uh, interact with other people's content and then just talk to people. And you know you want to be talking to people who are in software at all levels. So people who are just starting out, people who are still looking, um, and then people who have been in for a while, people who have been in for a long time in software. So you're talking to all those people. And so you're gonna have to do some reaching out. And so you send a connection request with a message that says, you know, hey, um, and it, you know, it should be specific to that person, but, you know, something along the lines of, like, you know, I'm trying to get into software, and, um, you know, I, I would love to be connected. And, you know, then when, if they do accept your connection request, then you send a follow-up message, you know, uh, maybe asking a question about something that they, um, that interests you about their profile or their experience, and, uh, or, you know, something general about how did you get into software, um, yeah, um, because, you know, people, um, know how to answer that question. How did you get into software? It's not like a, what is your advice on getting into software? Because, you know, it's hard to give advice when you know that, um, everybody's different. And, um, if there was a surefire, like just do this sort of formula, everybody would be in software, right? So, you know, it's complex and it's hard to give an answer that, feels like the right one. Um, but if you ask people about their experience, then, you know, they, that is usually a very safe question um, and provides interesting insights. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say is, you know, the approach I take in um, networking on LinkedIn is, um, you know, very not goal-oriented. Goal it's very personable and, um, you know, has worked for me. And uh, it has worked for other people I've talked to who recently got into software. Um, you know, the, the more people you know, who know your situation, who know your name, who know your, um, what you're looking for, and your uh, experience level, you know, some of those people are going to have roles that you would be qualified for. And then they reach out to you and they say, hey, uh, this role, what do you think? And, and that's how it happens. Um, yeah. That's all I got.